Hello everyone, I'm here to talk about uh, DDoS attack on EOS. So this is something which uh, people are spreading a lot of FUD. So I'm here to clarify how great EOS is and how it takes care of the FUD. So by the way, this is a YouTube video by Crypto Money Life. I think they got popular because of streaming uh, the live voting session. A lot of people have subscribed to them and uh, I see like there are 3.2K subscriptions. They are uh, talking about EOS under DDoS attack today morning. Uh, I'm not going to play this uh, and also there's a uh, Reddit post where uh, people are talking about is there someone trying to DDoS uh, EOS mainnet now let me show you the account which tried to do that and uh, this is the account uh, it's loading here on EOS flare so this guy has some 150 tokens I think he had uh, uh, of course it has these are staked and he's trying to do this uh, DDoS uh, transactions and look what happened so he already consumed all his cpu bandwidth so now or so he cannot really go ahead and do any more of uh, these transactions so this is what you need to understand the this whole mainnet the eos is designed in such a way that of course you can do some fake transactions so this guy is trying to do all this uh, uh, useless transactions is trying to create a continuous loop so what is DDoS uh, by the way it is, it is this is called denial of service attack so denial of service means if you really put a lot of transactions into the system and uh, block it many people thought that EOS is free transaction so people will do it but they are not understanding that you can only do based on how much CPU and bandwidth you are allocated and that is directly proportional to how many EOS you have so if you have like infinite money in the world you can buy a lot of EOS tokens you can go ahead and do that attack but irrespective of that people who own this other tokens they will always be able to use the uh, allocated CPU and bandwidth so this is the very very important thing you need to understand this is not like Ethereum this is not like Bitcoin um, where you can just start anybody can make any number of transactions uh, plus they cost money so even though it's a free transaction system you cannot really uh, DDoS uh, uh, EOS so just make sure that you there will be a lot of late uh, media reaction to these kind of things there will be a lot of FUD uh, I would say don't worry about it uh, this is not really a, uh, a problem for EOS and uh, all these fools who are trying to do this uh, they're just wasting their EOS they're just wasting uh, their uh, allocated bandwidth and uh, it's actually a good test for network throughput uh, maybe it's not even a, um, a real uh, like you know hacker or a bad guy maybe he's uh, one of the testers from uh, some B block producer so you never know what is happening here uh, there was another uh, such account which people were referring to where they were saying oh, EOS is scam EOS is uh, uh, whatever there are all kind of garbage memos in this kind of transactions and people will do that you can also do that you can make any number of transactions you can send uh, uh, this kind of uh, like okay let's go and click on this exactly what these transactions are showing so these a lot of people can do that right means uh, once you have these wallets now uh, you will be able to do this so this this had actually no action at all this was just a fake transaction uh, which has nothing else other than just putting a message here that it is DDoS so this can be a test this can be somebody just testing the system uh, so do, again as I said so do not worry about any FUD which is going to be spread around it and uh, let us hope that uh, all these things uh, which uh, like all the kind of attacks which are going to happen they should actually happen because we want it to be tested we want the mainnet to be robust and uh, stand through that and the promise which you are still uh, started with uh, we want to go through all these uh, uh, kind of scenarios and uh, make sure that people are really testing it out all right, thanks for joining folks and uh, I hope everybody is keeping their tokens safe. Uh, you're not, uh, again, a reminder, do not enter your private keys anywhere. Even when you are uh, trying to access your account at these tools like eosflare.io, eosmonitor.io and so on, uh, they only need your uh, account name, which is uh, a 12 let character long and uh, or you can put out your public key. But again, I think the best way is to get your account name. If you don't know your account name, you can still go to eosauthority.com and uh, they still have based on your ethereum wallet key again that's a public key so ethereum wallet public key you can still get uh, access to your account names so thanks for joining please like the video and uh, don't worry about the FUD and don't listen to that and hope you are uh, making your own uh, judgment on what is happening thank you bye bye